All right, looks like we are live. So let's see here, guys, as we are pulling this up, if you can drop us uh, where you're joining in from, if you're joining live, and a hashtag replay if you are joining the replay. And I have just got a couple people here wanting to know where to find it. So let's see what we got here. Oh, I see there. Hi, Condre, how are you? Whitney, hey there. All right, we've got some people who are wondering. I'm just messaging them. Um, all right, we're going live. This time change is getting everybody. <laughs> I think so. So we're laughing here because we're like, how does our, our state that doesn't change time actually change time and messes everybody up so much? But it's not even just us. It's people who book appointments with us because they're used to us being a different time too. So totally. <laughs> so funny. So how many of you love the time change? Just out of curiosity, if you love time change, drop us a time. If not, give us a thumbs down. I actually don't mind it. I just get a little confused for a week or so. <laughs> so we've got Marlene, we've got Carla, Amy, Jenny, Gracie, Whitney, Condre, Lisa. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. All right. So I want want to make sure I have us up. We have got a great training in store for you today. Cannot wait to share it with you. And uh, Ruth, you're in Canada. You don't have to, where, where Ruth and I were talking a little bit here, as all of you know, most of you guys are all U.S. people here that I, see, at least that I know of so far. And obviously we're all anxiously awaiting to find out who our next president is. So Ruth's asking questions because she gets to watch everything from Canada, you know, a whole different perspective on everything. So is it kind of funny watching it all, Ruth? Or? Oh, I've been I've been watching it all unfold. I've been watching for a while because uh, everything that happens to our neighbors indirectly affects us somehow anyway. Sure. So, uh, so I've been watching and quite honestly have been entertained by some of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's good and bad. <laughs> I love it. And... Um, yeah, you'll have to let us know when uh, yours uh, is next so we, we can do the same back. <laughs> yeah, ours is never as dramatic. <laughs> no, I'm sure. <laughs> Canadians. <laughs> oh, love it, love it, love it. All right, Amy says, I did something bold this morning by posting my story on my page. Next is go live with it, following Ruth's lead. Awesome. Good for you. That so is so awesome. I love it, love it, love it. Well, perfect. Well, guys, we are going to dive in. It looks like everybody is finally starting to see access here. So that is great. And want to welcome on here. I see a few other. We got Samuel on here. And we've got some people from Colorado. It looks like Brittany is on here. I missed her before. So all right. Well, thanks, guys, for hopping on. Let me go ahead and share my slides so we can dive into this. And let's see here. Let's make sure. Oh, StreamYard, be friendly. Come on. All right. Hold on one second, guys. Every once in a while. It just doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to work. All right. Maybe I just, well, no, I have it open. Let's try this again. Hey, Heather. Thanks for hopping on. I just am not seeing it to choose. Can I maybe try? Yes, please. I don't know why. Every once in a while every once in a while. So, all right, we've got someone from Calgary. Oh, sweet. Ruth's got hers working. Twyla's on. Good morning, good morning. And let's just see if I'm missing anybody here. All right, so guys, I'm gonna change out this message here. Just out of curiosity, while Ruth is pulling that up, oh, looks like she's got it, look at that. Yep. If you are currently using Instagram for your business, guys, drop us an IG below. I'm just curious of how many people are doing it. Um, so just drop us that below, that would be amazing. And um, all right, there we go. Hey, Ed, thanks for hopping on. So what we are gonna talk about today is how to create an endless flow of leads using your Instagram profile. So again, if you are using Instagram right now, drop us an IG below. So I don't know about you, Trish, but I've been playing around quite a bit lately on Instagram and I'm pretty excited about it because 
Instagram is really a search engine when you use hashtags right. And we're not going to really dive into that today. That'll be a separate training. But um, it's a pretty cool platform. Yeah, it definitely is. And yeah, as you know, we've uh, we, yeah we've been playing around, we've been diving in, and uh, but we're actually going to be doing a team training on it too uh, on Wednesday night next week. I'm excited. We've got um, someone in our group here who we know who is uh, really an Instagram expert who's going to teach us even more. And I'm really excited because not only can you use this to really attract leads, you know, um, to your other groups or to your you know your business. Um, from your Instagram profile, but as you dive in, there's lots of ways to to do um, to get sales and things like that through Instagram as well. So just so many features on such on a really just such a cool platform, very different from Facebook. But um, what I do love is that they are connected, so it makes things a little easier. Absolutely. So let's dive in. How to create an endless flow of leads using your Instagram profile. So first, um, personal branding on social media, right? When you are branding on social media, it's going to help you create your own prospecting and recruiting advantage. And think about that. You know, there's so many times um, when we get started and we're told to make that list of 100, it's kind of unfair because we, you know, some people who we know have been in this industry longer or they just have a completely different uh, warm market than you have that gives them in a way an upper advantage, right? Well, social media can give you that equal advantage and really allow you um, to attract an endless flow of quality prospects, right? Quality, meaning not just random people, but people who've been targeted, um, who are interested in joining your business or buying your products. And that's what's so exciting because so many times we're always out there spamming and doing things we shouldn't, hoping the people who need it see it. But when you can do it the right way, you can attract the people who actually want it. And that's the difference as opposed to people needing and wanting. You're getting the ones who want and they're going to be much more serious about either joining you or purchasing. So in case we haven't met, if you're new to our group, I'm Ruth. That's Tricia. And uh, we've been in network marketing a combined 20 plus years. We really need to update this slide, Trish, because I think it's closer to 30. I know. <laughs> we now build entirely online using attraction marketing. We both used to do the old school stuff. We both built big businesses, you know, knocking on doors and going to meetups and mall sharking. Trish was really good at that. <laughs> But uh, we decided that we needed a better way to do it. And we found social media and attraction marketing. We are both double comma network marketing, uh, internet marketing coaches. We coached for a large internet marketing company for about four years. And each of us created over a million dollars in sales per year uh, through that coaching program for that company. And at about the four year mark, we decided that it's time to take all of this knowledge and build a system for ourselves and our team. And that's exactly what we did. We took about eight months and built a team duplication and training system that has absolutely allowed our team to explode in the industry. Um, in those years that we were coaching, we coached about 3,000 struggling network marketers. And the reason this is important, it gave us a real inside look at what is happening in the industry, what the struggles are, what's the real deal on the street versus what we're being told. We're both six figure income earners in the industry and we are passionate about helping people achieve their dreams. All right, well, real quickly, I just wanna say hello to a few more people. We got Marianne and Jennifer and Molly Lester. Uh, let's see here. And a couple of names I'm not sure are seeing, but it looks like a lot of people are using well not a lot quite a few though are you yeah. so love it so guys right now what is your current situation in your business right maybe you're building traditionally and you're doing traditional prospecting and recruiting methods um and it's okay they work right they do work and they may include making a list although i know for most people it's that dreaded list because it's likely if you've been in this business for a while 
you've like worn that list out. <laughs> you have not added to it. You are constantly reaching out to those same people. And that's where people really struggle and break down is because they are always connecting with those same people. Like if that is you, drop a same below. Um, you're connecting with people in your circle of influence. You're meeting new people and you're helping, you know, your new team members do the same when you're building traditionally, right? Um, and traditional methods are the best way to get someone started in their business because it's highly duplicatable and that circle of trust really can create some quick results with people. Um, but, you know, there are downfalls to the way we're meeting our people too. And we're going to go more into that. You also may be building your business on social media. So you're not doing old school or maybe you're doing a combination of both and you find that you're posting pictures of your products, hoping someone will buy, right? You post the picture and you cross your fingers. Uh, you're doing things like asking people, I'm looking for five more people to join my team. That used to be my desperation post at the end of the week when I didn't get any recruits, that's what I would post it and I still got no recruits. <laughs> Um, you may be friending strangers that you don't know and so that you can have prospects see your stuff, right? And again, maybe that's not working for you. These new friends just don't interact with you. They often block you. Uh, when you send them messages, they don't respond. And it's basically because you're looking spammy. So maybe you find yourself in that place. And it's okay because I used to be in that place. <laughs> If that's you guys, drop us a hashtag spammy pammy. <laughs> and, uh, but here's the thing. Now, if you've tried using social media, um, using curiosity the right way, then the results can often be slow, right? Because you, it takes a little time to, to be able to build um, some influence and stuff like that on social media. Um, but it's also possible that your posts aren't being seen like they once were because of the Facebook algorithms. And people's appetites for these types of posts have changed. Because I know things that I did five years ago for sure do not work the way that they, uh, are, you know, way things are working today. And, you know, if you've got it so that nobody's asking for more information, and if you're tired of social media without the results, um, this is probably where you're at, you know. So just let us know, you know, are you building traditionally? Are you using social media? And are you stuck, right? Just let us know where it is that you might be. Heather says, I'm so a recovering spammy Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> it's tempting sometimes. <laughs> so you may find yourself in this place. Will this ever work? And that used to be my face. I would sit at my computer and just go, oh my gosh, what, is this ever going to work? When will recruiting and duplication ever kick in? Recruiting? And, and generating leads is one thing. Duplication is an entirely different thing that you also need to master. You want to know a funny story. So this picture. Yeah. Um, several years ago, my sister and I were, you know, we this was before I started learning how to be really built on social media. And we were having one of those days where we were talking to endless leads of people who just weren't qualified. And she sent me this picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the exact one. It's very, very similar, but it was probably midnight, one, two o'clock in the morning. Like it was when I was on the East coast and we were just like, seriously, you know, and anyway, she sent me this and I just remember, you know, when you're late at night and you're tired and things are funnier than they really probably should be. And I remember her sending this and just about crying because I was laughing <laughs> so hard. But when you get to this point, you're like, that's it. I'm done. Right. Has anybody ever felt like that? Um, but that's when really when the learning kicks in. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So how would it be different if you could actually attract interested and excited new prospects and team members to you on social media? So people who actually reached out to you, think about what would change in your business if attracting new prospects who are excited to hear about what you have, um, what could that do for your business? You'd have motivated team members, you'd have fewer no's, and you wouldn't be like that lady holding your head in your hands. It would be way more fun. And it's so funny, Trish, we were just talking about that earlier this week. We were. Um, how fun this week has been because 
we're, ta we're talking to lots of excited people and that makes business uh, not even feel like work. That's so true. And what I've loved, and I know we, we talked about this too, is that, you know, when we first started using this system, it was Ruth and I who were having all these conversations and really starting to bring people in. But as time is going, it continues to duplicate. And now what's happened is our team members, it's not even us on with our team members anymore, helping them, it's them actually doing this for themselves. And it's so exciting to see how much they've grown and the results that they're getting. So how does prospecting online really work? I'm gonna go through this slide fairly quickly, but the first place we start is the cold market. Okay, so the cold market means all of those people out on social media who don't even know you yet, right? There, there's no awareness of who you are, what you offer, what your products are, okay? The warm market are people who have been exposed to you, okay? So trying to sell to the cold market is hard. It often doesn't, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time it doesn't work because there's no trust. So then we've got the warm market. Those are the people who have seen your content. Maybe they've been watching your stories. They've been watching your Instagram. They've checked out your bio. They've checked out some links in your bio and they're warmer now because they, they're following you, right? Then we move to hot market. So warm market is a more likely buyer of your products or uh, potential team member. Hot market, they're ready to go. They're like, yeah, let me in, let me buy it, let me click this link and buy, uh, let me shoot you a message so I can join your team. That's hot market. And generally they're people that we've had a closer interaction with. Maybe it was a Zoom call, maybe it was a messenger message. Maybe they actually bought something before, maybe you had a free offer. Um, so that's hot market and they are like hot, they're ready to go. So personal branding is going to start knowing who your avatar is, right? But most people are like, what the heck is an avatar? <laughs> and we've talked about this. We've done tons and tons of training. Uh, but guys, if you know who your avatar is, right? Like if you really feel you're clear on it now, drop us an avatar. So there's lots of people in this group who have been following us now for almost a year. So if that's you and you've done the whole homework on the avatar, let us know. I'm curious how many people have actually done that exercise because if you haven't, then you're probably missing the mark on your marketing. Exactly. So your avatar equals your ideal prospect, right? And what that means is you're getting specific, not broad right? You're young um, because social media marketing has to be more specific than traditional mark, uh, prospecting. When you're talking, you know, to people in with traditional prospecting, you're really just talking to anybody who will talk to you. I mean, let's face it. That is what you're doing. You're having conversations with everybody. Well, when you're using social media, you're getting more specific. You want to know more about this person. You know, how old are they? Where are they from? Do they work or stay at home? Do they have kids? What do they do for fun? because it's super important to know what it is um, that they're doing, what it is they stand for, all of that, because you've got to find out um, what's going to really resonate with them. And by knowing this information, that's going to help you. Um, if you can narrow it down to that person that you have in mind, right? And Ruth likes to you know, say, you know, give that example of, you know, once you figure it out, take that picture and put it on your computer. So when you're doing your posts, you know who you're specifically talking to every single time when you're doing that. Um, what problems do they have that that you can help them solve? Right. Because here's the thing, guys, when you become a master problem solver, you are going to conquer this business because in the end, that really is what it's all about. Um, but what also keeps them awake at night? You know, is it they're struggling to pay bills? Do they have debt to pay off? Do they have kids to put through college? Is it because they want to retire? Like, what is it that's keeping them up at night? Because you want to make sure, again, you're hitting those topics when you're talking with them through your posts or through your Facebook lives or things like that. So know your avatar better than you know your spouse or partner, right? It sounds a little crazy, um, but here's, here's why it's important. So the reason it's important is it's impossible to create a personal brand without knowing who you're marketing to. 
And your brand becomes the solution to your avatar's problems. That's what's going to give you the attractor factor, right? When you're solving your avatar's problems over and over and over again on social media, you're going to become the go-to person for your avatar. I love it too. Starting to see lots of avatars there. Lots of avatars. Awesome. So what is the bio? All right. So here is an example of what Ruth's bio looks like on Instagram. Okay. And this is really important because, you know, I go to so many people's Instagrams and you go to their bio and you have no idea what, what they do, what they stand for. And what you want to do is let people know what all that is because the bio is the place where you tell people exactly what you and your brand are all about. Right. So I need my glasses, Ruth. Maybe you can read to me what it yeah. says. Absolutely. I so um, it, in the bio, I've said my, my avatar is very specific. My avatar is a woman who is 52 years old. So helping women 50 plus love their lives. Age, positivity, beauty, health, entrepreneur and course creator, farmhouse, 100 mile foodie. So that's giving people a snapshot of who I am and what types of things they're going to find in my Instagram. Um, you can also include a link. So I have a link to my website here. I'm just in the process of actually changing that. Um, but you can drive people to a link, right? It can be an offer, a freebie, a website. Um, and you can use services. There's some services out there that will actually give you a um, almost like little clickable icons that people can go to different places. So you can send them to uh, your products, your social media, maybe a, a, a website to buy something, uh, book a consultation call. And those services, there's a ton of them out there. Uh, some of the more popular ones are Linktree, uh, Milkshake. Milkshake is free. Shorby um, is a really good one. You have to pay for Shorby. But the cool thing with Shorby is you can put a tracking pixel on those uh, clickable links so that you can track the people who are clicking them and retarget them with ads. Now, that's a little, that's a whole other more complex training. But if that's where you find yourself in your marketing and you're doing using pixels and ads, Shorby may be the place that uh, you want to check out. Yeah, and I love this because again, you can see there that Ruth's is very, very specific um, as to what exactly it is that she's doing. And um, yeah, so what you want to do though, is once you get that bio set up so that it looks great and people know what it is, you obviously need to get people to get their eyes on it, right? Because it's great if you have it, but if people aren't looking at it, it's not going to help you in any way. So some things that you can do to get people to look at that bio are one, use hashtags and posts. Now that's actually a whole nother training in a way. But you can get started by choosing hashtags of things that relate to your business or are going to relate to you know, other things, um, other interests that people have. So, for instance, just to throw a couple out, you know, if you're in network marketing, obviously you could use some network marketing hashtags. You could hashtag some of the um, bigger gurus in the industry. You could hashtag some of the companies in the industry, but different things that are going to um, allow people who are in those groups um, kind of be able to see your content. It's kind of weird how it works, but it's um, it's going to attract people over to, you know, take a look at your content. And then other things that you can do, you know, you can be doing calls of actions within your posts, right? So you can tell people, hey, my link is in my bio, go check it out, um, you know, for whatever it is, you know, if you've, you've written something up and you're telling them, hey, Go, you can go check us out by going to the link in my bio. You can do calls to actions and stories. So, you know, we do a lot of calls to actions even about this training, about um, when we do our, um, we Ruth and I do a lot of videos and stuff. We'll put those videos through Instagram and we can link them um, through the story section, back to the bio, back to that store or video. Um, you can go do calls to actions on other social sites to get people over to your bio as well. And of course, you can be doing paid strategies. There's a lot of ways to get people there. Um, but that's kind of that most important piece is to get people's eyes over on that bio so that they can start clicking. 
absolutely. And if you've watched um, the training that we did last week where we talked about funnelizing Facebook and using your Facebook profile to funnel people through a systematic um, sort of chain of e events so that they can eventually become a new recruiter buyer. Um, Instagram is no different, right? And using your bio in the same way to start funnelizing people uh, through various steps so that they get warmed up. They're from cold market, they get warmed up and eventually become a buyer or a new recruit. I love that. And Whitney just says too, it blew my mind when I realized that hashtags are more for your avatar than you. Think about where your avatar is or what they're searching for when using hashtags. Great advice, Whitney. I love that. So leads are just a very small part of the puzzle when you think about it, right? So when you're building a brand online, when you think about this, I love to use the example of a puzzle because it's really easy, I think, for people to, to visualize. But when you have a puzzle, right, you've got your, your border, you've got the center, and, you know, doing this, you're, you're really, everything that you do on social media is another piece. And leads are just the one piece um, to start filling in that puzzle, right? But you've got to know what to do with them once you have them. And it's interesting, Trish, there's a lot of programs and courses and things out there that promise network marketing success, but mm -hmm. just teach lead generation. Yeah. And a lot of times people, you know, if they, if they can generate the lead, they're left with this lead throwing their hands up in the air going, what do I do now? What do I do now with this person and how do I get them to duplicate? So there are really four key components to building a network marketing team. First one is leads. you got to bring people in, right? That's only one part of it. You also need a duplication system that is super simple for anyone to use. Now, if you're watching today and you're a marketer and you love marketing and you love technology and you love social media, I'm going to venture as far to say 70 to 80% of the people who join your, join your team aren't going to be as passionate about that stuff as you are. So you can't expect that everyone is going to take it to that level. So you need a duplication system that's super simple to follow that anyone can plug into and have success. They don't need to be techie. They don't need to be social media gurus. They don't need to have, you know, have done $30,000 mentorship programs. They don't need any of that. They just need to do a simple training and plug in because most people are gonna wanna do that. They're just gonna wanna plug in. Most people who join your team are, you know, maybe they have an hour or two a day to work their business. And the last thing you want them to do is get sort of what I call lost in the sauce, trying to figure <laughs> out social media, right? The next thing you need to build a sustainable team. And when I say sustainable, it means people aren't coming and going so fast that you feel like there's just a revolving door. You need a solid team culture of support, training, enthusiasm, right? And, and you need a system to do that. I mean, there's gotta be a systematic approach to training, to keeping people motivated, to plugging them in, to being available daily. It, it's, a, it's a whole system in itself in terms of creating culture. You also need, and a lot of people don't like this one, a system for closing sales and recruiting including a sales training system because if your if your reps don't know how to close the deal then they're going to be having a lot of conversations that go nowhere and and you know a lot of times and this is one of my pet peeves trish is in network marketing we're taught that all we need to do is share and sharing is caring yeah. like you want to build a business, you have to have sales skills. You have to learn some simple ways to connect with people, invite, have them evaluate, and then ask for the sale, right? And Ruth, you know, to add to that, what you're saying there, mm -hmm. 
we're talking about that closing, you know, we recently found out a statistic that was very interesting that 97% of network marketers have no closing skills. 97%, like, no wonder people struggle with this industry. If you can't close a sale, then you can, you know, it's going to be extremely hard for you to have success. So it's imperative that you have that um, for your team. And really the last thing, I guess I lied when I did this slide because it's really five key components. <laughs> you did. <laughs> the last component. She is, can't count. <laughs> is an MLM company, right? You need an MLM company with no compromised products and a compensation plan that this part is really important that even the newest people can get paid quickly. Because if the compensation plan is not designed that way, you're going to lose your new people. You got to get people paid fast, right? So that they stay in the in the game long enough to learn the the last four things, right? <laughs> and they say it's actually a proven fact that people who get paid in their first thirty days of their business will stick around. I think like I don't know, it's like ninety percent longer, so it's some crazy high number. But it, but it may make sense. And here's the crazy thing. It doesn't even matter how much they get paid in the first 30 days. They just need to get paid. And um, and it's just so important to have that. Absolutely. So what we want to share with you a little bit is our SMP team duplication system, right? So what we have as a team duplication system is a series of Facebook groups and automations to track leads. Okay. So Step one is we teach our team how uh, to attract people through valuable content from the cold market, right? First of all, most people like talking to the cold market because they don't feel weird about it. Um, but also when you do this, you can be target marketing and actually be finding the people who are looking to actually build a business versus just talking to everybody. So inside of step one, we help our team create influence quickly with their leads. We add value without having to create it themselves. So we, we give them um, posts to use. Like we give them the first 14 days of posting. Plus we give them like over 30 other days worth of posting content. So we teach them very quickly how to go out on social media, how to post the, the right way in the right places so that they can start creating that influence quickly with their leads. The second thing that we do, step two, is we train our team on the, the, proce the process and the scripts to invite through Zoom to an evaluation group, all right? So they can be inviting people into a messenger conversation. We can be, you know, get them on a Zoom, but they can invite them over into an evaluation group so that people can actually evaluate for themselves so they can take a look, so they can see what content is out there, see the value of being a part of this team could be for them. And what I love about that is it truly is evaluation, meaning they can look, you're not constantly going at them asking, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> you know, or whatever that follow up. Cause I know, and I just heard somebody this week on our team say this too. And I don't, I think it was Whitney. And she said, you know, she remembers when she learned that, you know, it takes seven to 12 times to close people. She goes, well, I'm persistent. I was on it. She goes, the problem is, I didn't know you really had to wait in between. I was just kind of like, follow up, follow up, follow up. <laughs> a little too much and people hated her. So, but I get it, Lenny. I was that way too. Um, but when you, people can evaluate, you don't have to do that. They kind of start to rise out on their own and you can follow up in a proper manner where you're not going to be scaring them off at the same time. Step three is an introduction to our team and company through a live or recorded presentation done by leadership. So we have top leaders in the company. So Ruth and I, we are top leaders in the company. We've got one that we've done um, for our, our team that's recorded that they can put people into. But we've also, we rotate through top leaders in the company and we have got presentations going on every single day for our team. So they don't have to wait a week to get a prospect to hear it um, from somebody else. <laughs> when he says, oh my God, I asked everyone all 12 times in the first six months. <laughs> <laughs> Trish, you know what I love about this step? What's that? So there are people on our team now that have only been with us. I mean, we I launched six months ago, and they're now in leadership positions doing the presentation. Yes. And that is 
freaking cool because the systematic approach to building your business works. People rank advance and then they can step into leadership positions too. So I love that we don't have to do it all. We have people on our team now yeah. who, are, who are actually doing these presentations. It's amazing. I love it too, because they're getting their leadership development all mm -hmm. through our training, right? You know, honestly, what takes some people years to do and growth, they're getting in a shorter period of time because they're getting such amazing training and processes and coaching and mentorship along the way. So it's great. And then our fourth step is our four-step proprietary closing process and scripts where 90% ask if they can join us versus us chasing people down. And that is huge because it allows people to be excited about what they do and feel comfortable and confident about it because they're not like seriously chasing people down like they used to or messaging them 12 times in the first six months. <laughs> Or, you know, trying to close them. But seriously, actually having a closing process um, where they've learned the right language, where they've learned to have posture, where they've learned to have confidence in talking with people, really helping people make that decision on their own where there's absolutely no convincing at all. Um, a person is going to really uh, be able to figure it out on their own through the process, you know, of questions and just the way we've got it set up. And I love that um, because I never ever feel slimy getting off a call because people figure it out for themselves. We're not convincing them into anything. So guys, think about it. If you had systems and trainings that, that taught you all of this and you could show up on social media, in your live videos, in your Zoom calls with complete confidence, because you know, you know what you have. It's a game changer because confidence attracts. Confidence attracts, right? People want to join people who are confident. They don't want to join people who, who are hiding. So having all of these things in place for yourself and your team is going to allow your team to just absolutely blossom. So ask yourself, where are you in this process? Are you in step one, two, three, four, or five? <laughs> Maybe you don't have an MLM yet. <laughs> so all of them are necessary to create the same kind of results our team has created. And, you know, we we tested this system a good eight months before we put it into, into real life uh, play. And in under six months, our team has brought over in over 500 new recruits, 500 new customers. And the best part is we've achieved on the team over a hundred rank advancements. And some of those people have been in the industry literally for years, stuck, never rank advanced. And they're hitting three, four, five ranks in their first couple of weeks or months. It's phenomenal what's going on. And these are the skills required to build a team, right? It's like I said in the beginning, it's one thing to get a lead, but there's a whole lot of other things that have to be in play if you want to build a big, thriving network marketing team. You miss a step and you may find yourself wondering, why isn't this working for me? Just like the girl in the picture, why isn't this working for me? Yeah. And I just wanted to add, not only do we have people making money and hitting ranks that they've never had before, we've got people qualifying for free trips. Yes. Like that is so exciting to me. Like, and, uh, you know, it just, what I love about it is the excitement that it's creating for them to realize, to see where they were and now where they, you know, where they've come from and where they're at today. It's so amazing. I love it. I can't wait to see everyone in Hawaii. I know, me too. Like we're going to be meeting most of these people for the first time in Hawaii on a company trip. I know. How cool. So guys, if you're not sure where you're at, you've watched this presentation and you've looked at those steps and you're going, wow, yeah, okay, I never thought of that. That all makes sense. But you're, you're kind of confused, right? You're not kind of, you're really not sure where you're at then comment strategy below and either Trish and I uh, or I are happy to set up a 10 minute strategy session with you to help you really 
uh, kind of get grounded again, kind of get grounded in where you're really at in your business and what are the key components that you have and what are the key components that might be missing that are holding you back from having that the success that you really deserve, the success that you really set out for in this business. Because I got to tell you, for years, I found myself stuck. There were years where I was like, I'm doing all the stuff, but nothing is happening. And it was yeah. frustrating. It was disheartening. And guys, we have, oh my gosh, I get so excited because we have the best industry in the world. Why? Yeah. Because anyone can do it if they acquire the skills and the income is limited, is limitless. I know when I was in corporate, I kept bumping my head on that, on that glass ceiling and I was never going to get any further, but it's limitless what you can do here. Right. And don't deny yourself that um, just book a strategy call with us and we'll, we'll help you figure out where you're at and what might be missing. And I got to tell you, this is probably one of the things Ruth and I love doing most is getting on and strategizing with people because allowing you to have a clearer path and a clearer vision to where you want to go to achieve your goals is super gratifying, right? It just, it is to, you know, see people kind of have that breakthrough. So, you know, please, if you're not sure where you're at and you're, you know, really would love to talk to somebody, drop us a strategy. We will get back to you. We'll get you our links to our calendars and uh, get you guys all set up. And if you're too shy to drop it in the comments, guys, just send one of us a message or send uh, the person who brought you to this group a message. And uh, it's okay. I used to be really shy. I'm like a complete introvert and it's hard to believe, but I am. And, uh, and, and that's totally, that's totally fine, right? Just, just help yourself and let us help you uh, really get out of that frustration that stuck state maybe you're feeling overwhelmed and maybe we can bring some clarity to where you're at so all right well that's what we've got for today guys if you found value at all drop us a value below and again if you watch the replay and haven't already drop us a hashtag replay and uh, we're excited we'll be back next week with some more great content for you and uh looking forward to meeting some of you on a strategy call so bye for now. Bye for now, guys.